So Red Online is reporting some interesting stuff. Page six as well when it comes to Kate Middleton. The American press are not stopping when they want to get to the bottom of what is going on with Kate. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are ordering well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Another royal nugget video for you guys because some of you guys seem to be really invested in this story because a lot is going on. Subscribe, it's just one click. And let's get into this video and discuss this situation. So Kate Middleton, her health issues were kept so hush-hush that she failed to tell her inner circle about her abdominal issues, Radar Online and Page Six have learned. Those closest to the Princess of Wales, 42, were allegedly left in the dark about her major operation, which kept her in the hospital for two weeks. According to reports, Prince William decided to keep her surgery under wraps because they wanted to protect her privacy. Sources told Page Six that Middleton's closest aides did not know what was wrong with her. Their three children, George, Charlotte and Louis, did not visit their mother at the hospital either, but it's believed they FaceTimed during her several day stay. Middleton had been holed up at the London clinic and cancelled all her appearances until Easter, and she's making good progress, the Kensington Palace have learned. Insiders shared she is thrilled to be at home after her hospital stay and is looking forward to a break from royal duties to focus on what is important, which is her family. But for a twist of fate and meeting William, friends often comment she'd likely have preferred a quieter kind countryside life is so spilled about Middleton's lifestyle. Family and bringing up her children is the most important thing to her, not the public facades. Whilst they are far away from royal renegades like Harry and Meghan, and Meghan sorry, the Prince and Princess of Wales have always marched to the beat of their own drum. Insiders disclose what home life at the palace with Middleton's revealing she often cooked meals instead of opting for a chef. Her specialties include, I don't care what her specialties include, this article, the more I read it, the more stupid it becomes. Um, but really, it definitely goes to show you that why wouldn't she tell her nearest, dearest, closest friends, you know? Why is Prince William the one deciding to run the strings and say, let's not tell anybody, let's keep this a privacy? Surely, if you're going under surgery, or a very important situation, or if you're going to be in hospital for two weeks, would you not want to tell your closest friends? Would you not want to tell your closest people? Why was it kept so secret and hidden? I get it from the public, but from your closest and nearest and dearest people, and Prince William also decided not to tell anybody about what is going on, surely if he was the one who was running the roost and said, Kate, okay, let's not tell anyone, what would you not then come to the hospital many a times and not just for 15 minutes? And then her assistant leaving in that car, which we all saw, she very well looked irritated and pissed that, you know, she was leaving. Perhaps something else was going on. Perhaps she had no idea this was going on. Perhaps she wasn't prepped. Who knows, guys? But I just find that page six and read online now reporting that she didn't even tell her nearest and dearest friends, her closest people. She kept this away from them. Again, implies to me that something else took place. I do think that Kate is doing better now at home. She's probably recovering from whatever it is. I just think that we were lied to when it comes to what it was, how long she has to recover for from it. And I think that there are fractures in her relationship with William that are and have only gotten worse. But you know, it looks like American press, the Spanish press, from what we all know, you know, began the, the coma related stories, but the American press also are not stopping. They are discussing this cable news as well. And Patriots and Red Online are, you know, getting this going. Have you noticed that UK press are the complete opposite? Diego, that Spanish paparazzi, did say that the sources at um, you know at the time told paparazzi don't speak on her health issues. Keep that at very minimal. Don't tell anybody X, Y, Z. So that is what the UK press is running with. They're trying to maintain well the majority of the press to not run stories on her health issues. Don't make that a focal point. Normally, if they're asking not to make it a focal point, it means something big is taking place. As soon as that coma story came out from that Spanish journalist, Calea, the, the next day it was announced that she was she's left the hospital the next day, which is not a coincidence in my opinion, then the palace actually responding to those rumors, blowing it up even more so, they don't really respond to fodder, if it's actually fodder. Like, they don't. Make of this what you will. Do subscribe to the channel, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Just a very quick roll nugget, get a few topics in, update you on what is going on, not waste your time, less than five minutes. And then if something else goes on, I give you guys that quick stuff. So that's why you know that if you're watching these videos, you know I'm gonna give you the everything in less than five minutes. So you feel like your time is not wasted, you're clued up, updated, and then the next video is the same. That's why I like to keep it short and sweet. I don't, you know, nobody can really sit here and watch 20 minute updates every single day of me saying, you know, similar stuff give you the quick updates in less than five minutes. I would really appreciate if you guys do subscribe. Even whilst I'm traveling, I'm still giving you guys consistent content. It's 24 seven, it does not rest over here, point blank period. So please subscribe, hit the notifications bell, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.